Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, and this is Anomaly by Noise Reap. This is the uh, follow-up video after I've done a video on Foundation, also by Noise Reap, and the Anomaly is actually coming from the same series there too, whereas the Foundation was its kick drum, bass drum, whatever we want to call it, a module. This is a multi-mode filter. Uh, with a surprise to it, and that surprise is its bad output. I'm going to tell you all about that during the actual deep dive. Uh, but even without the bad output, this module is well is really impressing me. And one of the key other things I've loved about while well, working with this module over the course of the last couple of weeks is the character that it has in the low pass filter mode. It adds a lot of warmth and character to your sounds as well. So I'm, I'm, I've been using this exclusively for the last couple of weeks. Um, so we, before we dive in, I do have to thank Noise Reap again for making this uh, series possible. And for now, I would just say, uh, hope you guys are gonna enjoy this because um, here we go. So here we've got Anomaly by Noise Reap. This is of course the second module from Noise Reap that I'm reviewing. First was the foundation. Uh, which was essentially a, well, let's call it a kick module or a, a bass drum module, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Anomaly is their multi-mode filter. And it is, well, the its distinguishing factor is that next to a low pass and a high pass filter, it also has a bad filter output, uh, which is essentially, as they describe it, a broken wave folder. And I think that that makes it very interesting. But first, let's just um, have a listen to this and see how it behaves um, under, let's call it normal circumstances, and then also dive into the bad for well, the bad <laughs> uh, things that it can do. Um, other than that, so the controls you've got, you've got your three knobs there: cutoff, resonance, and CV amount. Uh, you've got your CV in, which can of course be attenuated by the CV amount. You've got your uh, full peroctive in uh, that you can use to, uh, well, to do the uh, cutoff with. Uh, you've got your input, and then you've got your low, high, and bad outputs. So first things first. Unfortunately, this doesn't self oscillate, but you can do other crazy things with this, of course. So uh, let's dive right in, shall we? So first, I'm going to grab a triangle wave from Ona. And I'm gonna patch that through the vivisect. So this is the sound and the shape we're working with. A nice sharp triangle wave. And let's throw that into the anomaly. There you go. And let's start with the low pass filter. So I'm just gonna patch this through. And as you can see, I've got the cutoff frequency set all the way up. So the filter is completely open, no resonance. And I'm not using the CV amount. So this doesn't do anything right now. So if we then turn the cutoff frequency down and we actually start to apply the filter, you'll see that in the spectrum, we're eating away the higher frequency bit by bit. And in the actual shape of the, uh, of the sound, you'll see that this is now gradually transforming to a single sine wave because what we, actually will end up with is the bass frequency, the F sharp two that you see there. But before that, we lose so much of the sound that we're not even gonna get to that point. But we are going towards that. There you go. So if we then add half of resonance to it, it behaves a bit similar, but you start to hear that, well, more, well, let's call it pronounced presence in the cut of frequency itself. So there you go. And if we then turn resonance all the way up, we're just gonna see Really nice, right? So uh, that's the low pass filter. Let's grab the high pass filter. So right now I'm just gonna, first I'm gonna turn the resonance all the way down and 
Right now the filter is of course closed, so we can open it up gradually. There you go. So now it's completely open and we just start eating away the higher frequencies first, which will of course start with the even harmonics. There you go. And do the same with half resonance. And with full resonance. I love this sound. It, it's already... The sound itself resembles that of pulse width modulation. Which, of course, makes sense if you look at the actual wave shape. I like that. And here you start to hear... <laughs> wave folding a bit. I like that. I truly love that. And then, of course, let's have a listen to the uh, to the bad ones. I'm just gonna turn everything down at the bad. So let's uh, gradually open this up. Oh, so that's quite. You see that? So this is this is not a smooth transition. So if I'm just gonna. Open this up. There you go. I love that. It's it's got a gritty well quality to it that I truly love. So now put the resonance up to the 12 o'clock position. Oh wow. So there is a gradual thing happening there. And let's open it up all the way. Okay, well, <laughs> this is where it starts to get really interesting. that oh I love that so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, get a sequence from Hermit so I'm just gonna connect that and we're just gonna play with these three settings a bit and see what kind of sounds it makes uh, when we're playing something on it so I'm not gonna do any sort of enveloping yet just clean sequences and we're just going to do something with that. So here we go. So I'm just going to start with the uh, low pass filter first. So this is of course a, a nice melody that goes all the way. It has some high and some, some, some uh, low notes to it. Let me just turn the resonance down. Again, this is a very warm, that's the only way I can, how I can describe it, a very warm low pass filter. And if you then add a bit of resonance to it, it is a bit more present, I would say. And if you then add resonance all the way, I have to say I, I truly like this, but I might say three quarters open, it has some of these sweet spots, there you go, where you do hear that resonance just taking off, I love that. So let's do the same thing for the... Uh, for the high pass gate, a uh, high pass filter, sorry. All the way open. Bit of resonance. Oh, 
I do get late 80s, early 90s flashbacks every time I use um, uh, high pass filters. So, then of course do the same thing with bad. So the first thing that comes to mind if I listen to the um, to the bad output is broken guitar amps. That's the first thing that I that I think of. And I've been uh, I've been I've been playing in bands uh, for quite some time. I haven't done so in uh, well in quite a while now. But this does have that same quality to it, where you just have something that is broken beyond repair. I like it. So that's just one thing that you can do. So um, the other thing I want to do is I just want to, well, disconnect this, and I'm just gonna grab a gate from Pam's new workout, and I'm just gonna put that into the in. And what I'm also gonna do is grab the same, well, I'm not even gonna do that. I'm just gonna grab this into the Volk Proctor in, and I'm actually gonna grab the gate from Hermit as well. So what I then expect is that if we start playing with the with the cutoff and resonance, we might get to a point where we might be able to ping <laughs> I like that. So we are able to ping uh, the filter in low pass mode, in high pass mode, and let's see if we can do it in bad. Oh yeah. In this case, the default proactive in is of course calibrated. You can of course also grab the uh, the CV in, which is of course and attenuatable, and you can do it yourself. But I just I think this is this is one of the best things you can do with this filter. So what I then want to do is I want to well I want to try something with foundation as well so i'm just going to trigger sound foundation again from pam's new workouts grab the drum out and patch that into the in and let's see how that sounds right so we've got a a nice thing happening there might want to make it a bit higher add some ring to it something like this There you go. So 
So this is also one of those filters that is truly capable of doing beautiful things with your percussion as well. But this is it's nice and snappy and it does a lot of things really well. So if I then grab this one. Let's turn this a bit lower. But if we then also grab the bad output, you can truly, well, <laughs> deform your, uh, your your percussion sounds and really make beautiful distorted. Well, let's how how do we call this? Well, it's it's because it's not essentially kick drum anymore but but it is something that is that is absolutely beautiful so let's um that being said i would say let's just uh create a patch with it shall we so um what i'm going to do is i'm just going to grab the same melody that we've been working with patching that into the owner and I'm not going to grab the, well, the uh, the triangle wave. I'm actually going to grab the pulse wave, patching that into the anomaly. I'm going to trigger that, and this time we will be you we will be using a an envelope. So I'm using a taxia for that, and then I'm going to grab the output from a taxia, patching that into the three times VCA. There you go. Let's turn this down. And I'm going to grab the output from that as well. So I'm just going to do, I don't need that. Grab this one in and low. And I'm just also going to grab this into the fifth set like that. Open it up slightly. That's nice. And I'm going to grab some drums with it. That's already nice, right? So let's uh, add a bit of reverb to it. There we go. Patch this into that, and we should be good to go. So I hope you like this uh, <laughs> this quick introduction to Anomaly by Noise Reap. As always, I <laughs> I can't get enough of just testing and and showcasing filters um, because it's such a visible and visual thing to do. But at the same time, it adds so much to the whole experience of making and creating music. And yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, and for now, I'm just going to leave this for now. I'm just going to play with some of the settings and then we're going to go back to the studio. So I'll uh, talk to you in a bit.
<laughs> so that's it. I do, I do promise you guys, we're going to go back to the studio. Talk to you in a bit. <laughs> so I truly hope you enjoyed this video on the anomaly by Noise Reap. As said, this is now the second of the Noise Reap modules that I've reviewed. And I have to say, I'm very impressed with both of them already. And not necessarily just by the build quality, because that is absolutely exquisite. I have no feedback on this build quality whatsoever. It is professional, it's well thought of, it's great. Uh, but what I also want to applaud them for is the actual design. And that is both on the, well, on the aesthetics, the layout and the looks of both of these modules, uh, but also the design of the feature sets and the applicability of both these modules as well. So when you think back to the foundation, that had some very interesting features that I haven't seen on any other uh, kick drum or bass drum module before. And you might say the same thing of the, the anomaly as well. So you might then think, that I'm just talking about the, the bad outputs, uh, but now of course that's true, but also the other modes, the high pass and low pass filter modes, really blew me away with the breadth and the applicability of both of those as well. Whether you're talking about very nuanced um, sound shaping capabilities for your oscillators all the way to the out, otherworldly sounding glitches that you can also create with uh, with this and anything in between you can do that with just one very small footprint module so as mentioned noise reap aren't the biggest euro rack maker or not, not the the best known but i do believe that they deserve a spot in the um, let's call it in the champions league of euro rack because of the well, the build quality, the ideas they've got, the originality of the uh, the modules themselves, and of course, well, I can't uh, recommend them enough. So, I truly hope that you'll give them some considerations for your next Eurorack purchase. And for now, I would like to say, well, if you guys want to support this channel, have a look at the links below. And for now, I would say, hope everyone is staying safe, staying healthy and um, hope to see everyone again for my next video. See you soon, cheers.